Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to the episode number 24 of the series of tutorial on how to build a premium theme for WordPress. Welcome again, in this tutorial we're going to take a look on how to style the video post format. If you followed the tutorial until now, you saw in the previous lesson we styled the audio post format and basically what we're going to do today, we're going to use the exact same code and we're going to generate this post format in no time. So let's uh, access our backend first of all, let's create a new blog post, in my case I call it video post title and let's insert a video uh, URL that in my case I chose the 100 YouTube video that I uploaded and I just pasted the simple URL. If you check here in the text uh, visualization, in the text view of the editor, you see that I just pasted the YouTube URL and as identical in the same way that WordPress handles uh, embed from SoundCloud or other streaming system, WordPress handles the YouTube URL to generate automatically the iframe to print and generates the actual video format. Also here I put an excerpt, I checked the video format, I checked just a category and I put a bunch of tags so our footer is going to be properly populated and let's save this blog post. If we access the front end and we refresh of course the last blog post it's going to be styled exactly like the standard post format. And that's what we want actually, this is exactly the style that we want, the only thing that is missing is the video on top of everything, so we have this video that has to be full screen on top of everything, and this is super simple, we actually already have the code, so let's go check this out, let's access the text, the, our code editor, let's duplicate the content uh, file, and let's call it content dash video. Let's open this file and let's change something a little bit. We don't actually have to replace anything. The only thing that we have to do uh, older than changing this to video post format, um, we have to access the content audio file and grab this code that we're gonna implement in our content video. Let's go here and before the header, let's paste it here and let's change the parameters that we want to retrieve so instead of audio and iframe I want video and iframe let's go back in our front end let's refresh and of course as you can see here everything gets printed in a super ugly way so we have to style a little bit this thing first of all we have to insert this one inside the header so we have a nice proper separation of styling let's refresh and this is center align, we have to wrap this inside a specific class to create a better differentiation, a better separation, and plus we have to insert a custom class here to style in a different way this blog post, and the class is sunset-format-video. Save it. Inside here let's create a simple wrapper from Bootstrap to force the video, the URL, the embed, whatever thing we have inside this wrapper to go 100% and be responsive. So let's write div class embed dash responsive, that is the pre-built class of Bootstrap for version 3, the version I'm currently using, plus I want to be sure that the uh, format, the actual ratio of my video, respects whatever uh, ratio I want, so I want to specify a responsive dash 16 by 9, that is the format that I want this video to be forced into it. I don't want a, a 4x3 format, but I want a 16x9. Let's save it. Let's remove this blank space to have something more clean. Let's refresh here. And now you can see here the video is fully 100% to hold its glory, <laughs> its glorious width and height and with this super nice featured image with my silly face on top. So what we have to do now, we have to create a little bit of space on top, remove a little bit of space on the bottom, and maybe do some better validation for our format, for our filter. So let's go here, and first let's access our sunset.scss, scroll back down, let's duplicate these, and let's paste it here, 
video post format and here we can create the exception classes that we usually did for all the other post format and in this case is sunset dash format dash video so let's take a look here in the front end how this thing works inspect the element let's check the format first of all we have the entry title with a margin top of 40 pixel we want to remove a little bit the margin top and put it at 20 pixel plus we want to give the header a padding top so something or maybe a margin top margin top of oops, want to give it a margin top of 20 pixel as well or maybe we could go 40 to create a better separation and have the same padding that other elements have between each other so let's do this let's grab here we could simply write header and say margin top 40 pixel plus inside the header we can go h1 I don't remember what element is having the entry title h1 entry title so we respect the same structure here we copy this in this way we can override easily without breaking the structure we can remove all this stuff and the entry title just close the curly brackets and we want just a margin top of 20 pixel because we are specifying just the margin top we are not going to replace or override the margin bottom left and right that is going to always remain the same and now we have our nice code styled so i think it's pretty much it for today's lesson no i'm joking <laughs> but we are basically we're already styled like have you notice this is super quick everything is responsive because we are using the specific class of bootstrap so we don't have to style anything new and we are reusing the same type of style the same type of content and everything is just consistent and we're reusing the same function so you notice how everything is quicker and easier to achieve the only thing that I want to do, I want to extend a little bit more the function in the backend to avoid maybe some probably issues that we could have in the future. So if we access the theme support.php, we scroll down to the sunset get embedded media. Here I'm doing a string replace for the output to remove visual true and put visual false. This is good, it's okay if we are handling an audio interface if we are handling SoundCloud and in this case it's pretty useless and that this maybe the string replace we're forcing something that doesn't exist could create some issues like by default the string replace if it doesn't get any match it won't get executed but in case WordPress updates the source code and uses also this visual true for a YouTube embed I will never know but could happen we could create some real issues so let's create an exception to check if our type array has an audio or a video and in the case has an audio we can execute this otherwise we just print the return to do that we can use a function to check if an element is inside a specific array so let's say if open the brackets n underscore array the first one we have to <laughs> check the needle and the second is the haystack so we have to search the needle in the haystack it's pretty funny right so the first one we want to check if audio oops inside the single quote if audio inside type column we can execute this and if that's it we optimize a little bit the function so we are checking if the word audio or the parameter audio is inside the type array and if true this function is going to get executed so we can handle the type of audio embed otherwise we can execute we can avoid to execute this function just print the output this if else it's working but in the future if we are gonna check for different type of embed and different type of style we can use a switch option a switch functionality of PHP that we're gonna check in the future but because we didn't define the output variable here we have to create an else option and just simply print the variable output is equal to the variable embed 
zero semicolon save it let's go back in our front end and of course if we refresh the page everything works because we're not actually editing anything and the audio post file the audio post format still works we're not destroying this one we're not creating any damage and of course the play of this video works and of course you can see wonderful face for this wonderful video and it's just it's just glorious so it's really pretty much it for today's lesson it was a super quick lesson but just to show you how we can optimize the development process by writing as less code as possible and use a component logic to use uh, all the same function but editing or updating or handling different options for the function with custom variables that we can pass uh, dynamically when within our different custom post format and we can recreate basically the same style by changing just a couple of lines of codes without rewriting all the things in the next lesson we're gonna create something more entertaining something more interesting we're gonna generate this slider inside here to collect all the picture or the attachments inside a specific a gallery post format and we're gonna create this slider so the user can slide through all the picture and see a preview of the images without accessing the actual gallery post type. So it's pretty much it for today's lesson, I hope you enjoyed, if you did please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, I'm sorry this was too short compared to other lesson's but uh, you know why it's short, it's because we're doing a great job here. So thank you again guys for watching this video and as usual until the next lesson, happy coding!